Good morning, St. Augustine Church family. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Are there any visitors with us this morning? Would you please stand? And we welcome you to St. Augustine and on behalf of Father Bob, Father Chris, and all of the St. Augustine uh, Church family, we hope that you will come back and join us again at 9 a.m. on Sundays for our Mass, and we welcome you to our parish at any time. Uh, the main announcement in the bulletin is that for uh, Christmas Midnight Mass and the Christmas Day Mass, in order to make sure that we'll be able to maintain uh, social distancing and stay safe, we ask that you call and register for either Mass, whichever one you're coming to. That phone number is 314-649-4077. So please uh, make sure that you register and join us. We will continue our social distancing. Uh, everyone must wear a mask. And we ask that unless you are a family member, that as you sit in the pews, you sit in the seat that has the ribbon and the bow on it. Do not move in from that because then you decrease the six feet. And with that, let us begin our mass for this fourth Sunday of Advent. Please stand. So on page 293, Father Chris is going to lead us in this opening prayer, and I'll do the petitions. 
And all of us will pray again the blessing of the reef, the blessing of our own journeys during this Advent time for these last five days, is it? Whatever it is, it's wonderful to behold. So let us hear on 293, these Father Chris, start this Christ side. came to bring us salvation and has promised to come again. Let us pray that we may be always ready to welcome him. That the keeping of Advent may open our hearts to God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the light of Christ, especially symbolized in these four candles lit, may penetrate the darkness of sin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the reef may constantly remind us to prepare for the coming of Christ. We pray to the Lord. And that the Christmas season may fill us with peace and joy as we strive to follow the example of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, and before we all pray the blessing prayer, we just ask the Lord to continue to bless us as we're challenged to accept the blessings that he's already given and salvation, his presence in the world as we have celebrated this Advent time, this time of coming. So all is well, and so we pray Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of the Savior who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the candles of this wreath and may their light reflect the splendor of Christ who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Continuing our prayer, our Advent prayer, for this fourth Sunday of Advent, we pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, in whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of the angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let the word be proclaimed. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, here I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, go do whatever you have in mind for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, 
Go tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you build me a house to dwell in. It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people, Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people, Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people, Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you sprung from your loins and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him and he shall be a son to me. Your house, your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, 
but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ. Be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord be to you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I have no relations with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing would be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
highly favored. Blessed you are. Blessed am I. As we reflect on these sacred readings, we see two people in our salvation history that are so very important. Of course, the Blessed Mother, but David was also highly favored, even though we know the history of so many things that he didn't do right, but he still was the line of bringing salvation to us. And then when the Blessed Mother says those words, be it done to me according to your word, blessed and highly favored the Blessed Mother. But our reflection today and my reflection is some way to think of making those words soak in to us who are on this journey. And the Advent time is this time where we can reflect with all our hearts on God coming, but with a lot of distractions, amen? And so I had a lot of distractions, but on our end, we got the job done of uh, uh, giving a blessing to 2,800 or so people, families. Mm. I had a lot of help from Carmen and Michelle and many others. And so I feel highly favored to have this done, but what I want to feel is that God just totally loves me as he totally loves you. And we know that, but we see in the scriptures today two highly favored people. And then we, when we come to the highly favored Blessed Mother, say, and be, let it be done to me according to your word. And that is the touch of God becoming in this community of human beings. And we just know that then all the more we're highly favored. I think of things that have just come up yesterday and today, and I share them with you that are on a, on a sad note, is that our dear Meredith Anderson has crossed over to the kingdom. Meredith Anderson, who has helped me open the uh, church up in the rectory at five o'clock on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for quite a few years. Meredith, who was uh, not going anywhere to church, to my knowledge, and then our, uh, the men and women of, of the Society of Peace visited them, visited her and welcomed her. And she started coming. I said, welcome, and I gave her a few jobs to do right away. So she was in, and she just did so much for us in her remaining days. She had been fighting with cancer through the years, and it had come back, as I understand, but just Meredith is one who journeyed with me a highly favored person because of her coming into the faith in a very deep way, always involved. And each of us, as we just look around and, and I see even some guests that are special, uh, Ken and Mary Clark, and we're praying for uh, Ken's mother, Josephine, who had a long life, and now has crossed over to the kingdom. 
And Ken and Mary invited the Sisters of Charity down by St. Teresa Church. We're glad to have them too. And their little, their little uh, uh, chauffeur there, you know, to get, get them here. And so it's just good to have them to come. And then back further, Eric, Derek, Derek, raise your hand, Derek, Derek. His mother has gone on to the Lord, Dolores Jones, even though that's sad, it's in another way, really a, a moment to celebrate her life and love. And we do that tomorrow at nine o'clock visitation here, 10 o'clock funeral, home going, and then to Jefferson Barracks because she was a veteran and lived at the veteran's home, I guess, what about eight or nine years, Derek? Yeah. Yes, and Dolores was especially uh, busy coming to us from St. Rose, and she was always seemed to be helping Arsenia, Skin Cade, Arsenia, in the uh, 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 giving out of food and everything, the food pantry. Am I right? So she did that until she was, had to transition to a home and she had a very nice apartment that she had to wait quite a while for, but she got it. So I take all these people that I feel are highly favored, I take myself, as highly favored, I want to use the word soak in, soak. You can get the image of soaking and you get the image of soaking if you uh, look at something that soaks. Does everybody have one of these in their kitchen, <laughs> in their bathroom? Take this image of soaking in and taking care of whatever, but especially just soaking in so that we can feel ourselves all the more blessed. And the more that we feel ourselves blessed, the more we're uh, prone to do good deeds, little things. You can call people on the phone that you haven't talked to in a long time or encourage someone or give a gift, you know, take Father Bob out, Father Bob out to dinner. No, no, I don't mean that way. <laughs> Do a good deed somewhere, somehow. And it just flows from your way because you're highly favored. You're soaked in with this image that the Lord just loves you totally. And I have to get a hold of that even better and really make it my own. And you have to do the same, but it's the time to really do it because this is the Sunday that is our final preparation for the Lord. Again, feeling him coming into our world as a human being for everybody and following the Davidic line. And so that's why David is so important also as highly favored. So church, soak it up, amen. And so remember this little, uh, this little prop here, uh, be used in your house in many ways. Soak it up. Amen, amen. God bless. Mm -hmm. Each of us pray a little prayer now, a feeling that God has really blessed each one of us 
that we are highly favored. As the angel Gabriel said to Blessed Mother, highly favored. And we are, by our baptism, belong. And when it's time to cross over, our good deeds and our life will continue the blessings. And we think of various people as we have mentioned today and many more that have crossed over that are so special to us. And even though it's a sad th thing in a way, but also a victorious, and we celebrate the victory today. So pray a little prayer as I'm gonna sit down and just be feel, try to say, give me the blessing of being soaked with all the love of the Lord and you also do that. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. <clears throat> Amen. Now let us stand and proclaim our faith. And this is on page 125. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. So gracious God, feeling highly favored, and we soak that beautiful image into ourselves, know we're blessed. And with that type of feelings, we now pray these prayers. Our response. For this we pray to the Lord. For this we pray, O Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop Rosansky, Monsignor Father Bob, Father Chris, and also Deacon Ed. We pray for their continued strength, health, and spiritual leadership. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us pray for the health of our nation, state, and especially our city. We pray for knowledgeable leadership from the, those in position to change and destroy lives. For this, we pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us pray for families struggling with the decision to virtually educate verse in person, parents and teachers. We pray the children and learning adequately, retaining their knowledge and moving forward. How, however, their education is being delivered. Lord, help those children and their parents through these difficult and unprecedented times. 
For this we We pray pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for victims, including their families, of the COVID-19 virus. We pray for the recovery for those who need it, and we also pray for insight and for those who don't believe the seriousness of this affliction. We pray for caregivers for their continued efforts, and they don't wane as the virus impact increases in recent days. For this we we pray pray to the the Lord. Lord. We pray for the leaders of our government as they move to help those who have been harmed by the pandemic, help them to act in the best interests of of the people and not their own interests. We continue to pray daily for the safety of our children and and young adults during their daily activities. Lord, protect them from gun violence and prayer pressure. For this This we we pray pray to the Lord. Lord. We continue to ask, Lord, for mercy for the homeless, the hungry, the unemployed, the unborn, the abandoned, the lonely, and the addict, addicted. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, we continue to pray for those who don't know you, those that prey on the vulnerable, our young, our defenseless. Lord, send your guardians to protect them and also our elders and those deemed helpless. For this, we pray pray to to the Lord. Lord. Finally, raise your right hand as we pray for the sick and shut-ins. Those listed in our hearts, our minds, may they know and feel God's loving arms around them. Deacon Ed, Jackie Smith, Arnetta Fraction, Kenny Herndon, Arsenia Kincaid, Henry Ross, family of Meredith Anderson, Harold Cole, Gerald Cole, Brenda Cole, and Robin. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for Dolores Jones, who's home going tomorrow. We're so glad, Derek, that you have come today and we lift you up with your two brothers and we're just glad that we can come together and pray with you today also ken clark is glad to have a blessing prayer for his dear mother she's certainly in god's kingdom like dolores we think so that's all good and then we pray for the others that are in the church paper, a lot of them we've tried to help with their home going. So Albert Conway, Jenny Herbo, Arlene Hope, David Johnson, Harlow Keeser, Michael Rhodes, William Smith, Giovanna Turner, Rich Wagner, and Dick Kroll. All of these and all the others have just come to our mind. So many, many people have come to my mind in this time of just great hope and feeling beloved. We ask all this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
wash away all the sins. And pray that our worship, our lives, our feelings, soaked with God's love, all this be most acceptable to our good and loving God. May the Lord accept us. May the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with the power of the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes, Lord. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. God. And we pray, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the, at the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his friends saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Praise you, Jesus.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Praise you, Jesus. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Oh, celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. To God, Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop. Our mission, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection or who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and Augustine, our patron saint, and all the saints who have, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from you and deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day and in your mercy keep us free from sin and save us from all anxieties and troubles and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, and you say to us, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with all of you. Praise God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. You reign, reign, reign Lamb of God, you take away the sins Savior Jesus Christ. How blessed we are to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul, body and blood of Christ. of Christ.
body of Christ. fourth Sunday of Advent I think was just five days or four days and we praise you Lord as people that are highly favored and let that soak in a little more and then once it does we're just prone to do whatever we can for those around us, something, just little things. Amen. Amen. Is there any other prayers from the community that you want to pray? Okay, you're all doing fine, huh? I can barely see you as I fog up my glasses, but I know you're there. Nobody fell asleep during my sermon, so it's all is well. <laughs> Praise God. So let us stand as we have our concluding prayer. some way the book has been hidden but now I find it <laughs> I'm there kind of 
looking all over for the book and it's right where it's supposed to be. So we pray, we pray again this special prayer. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And now today I'm going to give a solemn blessing on 674. Coming up, 674. Here we go, 666. Boy, you're right waiting for this blessing. You, you scoop it up all the way. Now I got 674. Six, six, seven, Solemn blessings. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Lord, are they ready for this blessing? And so in this time of Advent, May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessings. Let the church say amen. 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 And as you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life as we've claimed for our loved ones today when he comes again in majesty we pray amen and now may the blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Give God the praise for that blessing. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Praise you. Amen. Come, let us adore Him. Kneel down before Him. Worship and adore.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Preach it. Preach it. All right. Praise God. All right. Glad to see you all. Jacob, how are you? Merry Christmas.